Hi, welcome to High Growth with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki. HTDC is the High Tech Development Corporation, and we're the state's agency in support of technology, entrepreneurship, innovation, and manufacturing. So those are all the topics that we like to cover on our show. First, I'd like to make some announcements before we meet our awesome guests today. Just wanted to announce that Saturday, April 26th, coming up, from 11 to 3 at Kahala Mall, HTDC is hosting the Technology Fun Fair. And this is going to cover all kinds of technology, um, all kinds of STEM, from K through 12, activities through college and into careers. So basically, if you go into one of these science and engineering or math fields, what is your career going to look like? What kind of companies are there once you've done all these programs through schools? Um, so that's the 26th. If you want a table at this event, please email Sandy Park at sandyp at htdc.com. And that's coming up April 26th at Kahala Mall, so come check us out. And actually, I would like to ask our next guest to come out to be a part of the <laughs> tech fair. So I hope you guys do. So today on our show, we have the co-founders of Hinovatech. Is that right? Is that how you say it? Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, Bristol Watts LLC. And Bristlebots, LLC, great. So I have Eric Tashima and Carson Wong, and they are both graduates of Kalani High School and also students at the UH College of Engineering. That's correct. That's so awesome, <laughs> very good. So I wanted to ask you guys, what is Hinovatech? So Hinovatech actually started from a parent company called Bristlebots, oh. and Bristlebots is kind of our main company. Um, Hinovatech kind of stemmed off of Bristlebots um, for our purposes after we graduate college and what we want to do afterwards. Uh -huh. But originally our parent company is Bristol Watts and that's what we actually focus on right now and that's what we're focusing on oh. in terms of what we do. Um, and so I guess we could talk about Bristol Watts. Yeah, first. what is Bristol Watts? So Bristol Watts was actually, it's like a robot kit that we put together back when we were in high school. Um, we, we were part of a robotics program at our high school, at Kalani High School. Uh -huh. And we were, I guess, the founding members there as well. So first our science, robotics? first robotics, first we've robotics? done Vex Robotics, um, a lot of different venues um, mm -hmm. in terms of robotics type activities. But it started our freshman year when our science teacher just came up to us and said, do you guys want to do robotics at our school? And we're like, what is robotics? <laughs> wow. And we started off at a garage um, that they had, very small room, um, awesome. no air conditioning, <laughs> very hot room. But one of the main problems that we faced when we started the robotics program there was funding. Um, uh -huh. Robotics costs um, anywhere from $50,000 to $75,000, depending what? on how many members are traveling each year. Oh, um, First Robotics alone costs about $5,000 in registration. So wow. just a freshly started robotics program, it was very difficult for us to, I guess, get funding. The school didn't have funding. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we really needed like an outlet um, to fund yourself. Um, another main point was robotics, one of the big things was community outreach. How can we get more people in the community involved in science, technology, engineering, That's mathematics? Good. And that was actually our main pr um, purpose in robotics was spreading more robotics into the community, getting community outreach, mm -hmm. um, awareness of STEM, education in the community. So we had two, two main points we had to focus on was funding as well as outreach. Mm -hmm. So we kind of um, took those two concepts and made it into like a product that we can actually raise money and also do awareness, um, awareness in that's the community. Awesome. And that's where we kind of came brilliant. up with Bristol Watts. So you guys were Freshman, sophomore? We were freshman, yeah, sophomore in high freshman. school when we Holy first started cow, this. Oh, that's awesome. So, Bristol Watts is something that was kind of out in the community already online. Um, they had these little toothbrush robots that people cut heads of toothbrushes off, um, get pager motors similar to the one that's inside your cell phone, <laughs> and solder on wires and um, put together this real easy, simple kit that mm -hmm. vibrates on top of like um, a smooth surface. And it was a toothbrush robot, uh -huh. basically. And that's where we got the name Bristlebots. OK. And then, um, so you have some with you? So we have some yeah. with us right here today. I want to see one. Can you oh, turn one okay, on? Yeah. That would be our updated kit. Oh, so yeah? Bristlebots, originally when we started, the reason why we put together these kits Sorry. was because one of the most main difficult reason of this Bristlebot kit was actually soldering all the wires uh -huh, onto uh -huh. the motors and the process it took for people to set up these kits so uh -huh. students can play with it and um, oh. our target audience is um, elementary school students, um, grade school students, maybe you want to put on like, yeah. a smoother surface. You don't really come on that, I mean. Really run around. I think his legs are touching the ground. Yeah. Maybe that. 
Well, yeah. typically we have this on like a smoother surface, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a whiteboard. But yeah. so what we did was we wanted more elementary school students mm -hmm. to, to do these things without having the dangers of going on a soldering <laughs> iron and actually having to solder. So our first summer, what we used to do was we used to sit in that hot garage that I was talking about, <laughs> and we used to basically solder thousands of motors ourselves oh my for gosh. these students to use that and cut amazing. thousands of toothbrush heads. So. And then wow. it got progressively better as we started getting older on um, junior year and <laughs> high school, senior year. And as soon as we graduated, we were thinking, um, and then these kits were used um, nationwide. So we and sold were a lot it of people to, buying them? So a lot of the programs that was buying it from us was like NASA's educational program, wow. the U.S. Navy's education they program. They bought from you guys? And they buy in like the bulk thousands. So yeah. that's where we <laughs> spent our entire summer cutting oh, toothbrush yeah. heads. Um, but that's where we first started. That's that where we first, that's our origin. And as soon as we graduated, we were thinking, how is the team, the new team, going to continue to do this mm -hmm. um, program mm -hmm. at their mm -hmm. school, After fundraise, and keeping track of everything in terms of ordering the parts, um, manufacturing it, and making mm -hmm. these parts. So upon graduation, I grabbed Carson and Grant, um, who were unfortunately unable to be here today, and we said, let's start a business together wow. um, to support, continue to support our high school team and our bikes program back at high school. And that's where we grabbed one summer, entire summer, and then we developed our own company together. Oh and we God. actually got these kits manufactured. And so it's a lot less strenuous work in terms of having to sit in front of a soldering station. So we actually get these parts now manufactured. And we actually comprised of these kits. And we oh currently God. still do support our robotics program back at Kalani High School. And it gets sold at like NASA, the US military. A lot of get colleges out. and stuff actually acquires these. Because these are affordable enough, so these organization can buy them and then give it to the students. Wow! Um, yeah, that's yeah, I yeah. guess one of the most important parts. So they where have, are they manufactured? Um, we have manufacturers on the U.S. mainland as well as in Asia. Um, some components they couldn't mm -hmm. just make it at the U.S. mainland, so but we tried to make everything as much as possible here in America. Wow! And yeah, so that's kind of where Bristlebots originally started, and that's where we kind of send out our kits. There's a lot of other robotics kits out there in the world. Um, you might no notice this is similar to the hex bugs, where yeah. you kind of turn on a switch and you mm -hmm, play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's very limited in terms of like the educational aspect. It's kind of just a flick of a switch yeah. and yeah. play. Yeah, you don't run. see anything. You don't, you don't see, see anything see. happening. But these kits, um, I guess, the organizers can get a lot of parents and students involved. Um, and the students making these kits together for a short, like 30 minutes, one hour, and having something, a product ready that they can take home right after it's over. Um, they have like first Lego League where they have these Lego robots mm -hmm. um, to play mm -hmm. with, but those are very expensive. It could go to $300 or $600, wow. and they can't just hand out those to kids to take home. So I guess they found that Versus Watts works really well in terms of grabbing enough interest in these students. Yeah. So yeah, they're yeah, interested yeah. in the STEM education aspect, yeah, but then affordable enough that they can take it home after. Electrical and. Yeah. That's awesome. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. This is High Growth with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki. And my guests today are Eric Tashima and Carson Wong of Bristlebots LLC. And we'll be right back. Thanks. I'm Hong Jiang, host for Asia In Review on Tuesdays. And I'm David Day, host for Asian Review on Thursdays. Both of us broadcast our respective shows at 4 p.m. And my topics tend to deal with uh, questions related to environment, culture, history, and sometimes human rights. And my shows tend to be on international business, foreign policy, geopolitics, and national security. And you can watch our shows live on the ThinkTech website at thinktechhawaii.com. And uh, you can also watch us on YouTube or Olalo. So come join us on Thursdays at 4 p.m. I'm David Day. And Hi. on Tuesdays at 4 p.m., I'm Hong Jiang. Aloha. Aloha. Hi, welcome back to High Growth with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki. And my guests today are Carson Wong and, oh my gosh, I just, Eric Tishima, sorry. <laughs> from Bristlebots LLC. Check out these, these are so awesome. You can buy these at NASA. That is amazing. I am impressed. Okay, so one thing I did want to ask you, so being students, what is the biggest challenge that you had when you started your company? Uh, our biggest challenge when we started was, you know, as you said, we're, we're students and we just graduated from high school <laughs> and we're entering our our new college life. That's and awesome, though. We didn't really get to adjust yet, but at the same time, we had um, a passion to uh, 
uh, raise awareness mm -hmm. with this um, as our vehicle. And so one of the biggest challenges was um, adapting to college and at the same time finding time to do this. To run your business. Yeah, yeah. precisely. And, um, but we, we managed it quite well. We met with each other um, at least once a week just to uh, catch up mm -hmm. and assign each other goals, um, things wow. to do. Yeah. And do you guys see each other in school? Um, Luckily, we're <laughs> kind of in the same program, yeah. College of Engineering, so yeah, we get yeah. to... We're engineers. Um, <laughs> we're engineering yeah, there. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's a pretty tough curriculum, too. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> to have a business to run, too. Um, you wanted to bring up something? Oh, yeah. So this is, um, this is one of our first versions of the mm -hmm. kit. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, we've actually made um, quite a few modifications to, to this kit. And um, we need help uh, starting it up. So we put it on Kickstarter. Ooh, and so what you're seeing here is actually slightly outdated. Okay. <laughs> There's an even better okay. kit out there right now. But um, we're not revealing it until, <laughs> <laughs> until we get backed on Kickstarter. And so is your Kickstarter up? Yeah. So Kickstarter actually just kicked off two days ago. Um, <gasps> and it's going That's on for exciting. 30 days period. Okay. And if you guys can go on Kickstarter.com and search up Bristlebots, then you guys will find our program there. And we'll be starting the PR campaigning very soon in terms of getting a push on this um, Kickstarter project. <gasps> that is awesome. Very good. How long is your Kickstarter going to run for? Um, I think 28 days from now. Yeah. Around there. Yeah. Yeah. Have and how, are, how much are you looking to raise? Uh, our, we put our goal at uh, $5,000, but um, it can go higher than that. So. Of course. <laughs> and the rewards are very, very, very <coughs> simple. So then the first pa package is a $7 backing. So if you guys can back us $7, then we'll send you our, one of our very first um, orders of Bristlebot kits. The new, the new, new and upgraded, improved. new improved Bristlebot kits will come to your doorstep. That is awesome. Oh, that's too easy. We can do that. $5,000. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> <coughs> that is awesome. Um, who are your customers? So, are your customers the stores, or what is Mainly your... it's, um, like I said, it's a, a lot of organizations, just like um, educational programs, colleges. Um, okay. Some of the educational okay. program includes like the US Navy Educational Development Program there, um, the NASA, NASA Education Program that they have all over the world. So once we got into that hub, mm -hmm. they kind of spread um, wow. yeah. for us. And does a percentage go to Kalani? So a lot is of the stuff works? that we do is we want to give back to our Kalani program. Mm -hmm. So Kalani actually does some of the sales as well directly there. Oh. And we also take care of the larger orders on our end. But whatever, most of the funding that we get and um, whatever money we make, we actually send a lot of the money back to Kalani High School in order to wow. support their robotics program there. So we help them throughout the season when, they, when, when, they, when they're about to travel, we back there campaign wow. when they're running their campaigns there. So that's what we try to do is, because we originated from that program, we want to get back to the program as much as possible. Last year, they, uh, they qualified to go to Worlds. Wow. And um, they're a little bit short on funding. And so um, we decided to step in and provide them with whatever leftover they needed. And wow. um, How did they do? <laughs> they did quite well, uh, yeah? a lot better than they thought. And um, we didn't really care how well they did. All we wanted was that they learned something from that experience and because um, that's mainly what we did when we when we went to world championships. When we were back in high school we actually traveled almost every year to a world event because wow. we qualified there. Um, oh my God. And every time we went it was just like a great experience you know seeing that that a lot of people just like gathered around just for this like STEM education mm -hmm. robotics mm -hmm. first robotics and that atmosphere that you just get there is like this experience that's just so thrilling. So then that's why we wanted to send as many students there up as possible again. Wow. So they get that same drive once yeah. they go there, they come back and they're so excited again to like, you know, for the next season already. And is that what made you guys become engineers? Just being in the robotics program or did you guys already want to be? Um, for me personally, I was unsure. I, I wanted to be civil engineer ever since seventh grade because I just looked at wow. the, the pay number and I'm like, I want to be that, <laughs> I want to have that occupation, you know. And then um, in high school, I was into uh, sports a lot and then I got injured, but uh, most mm -hmm. of my friends, uh, say like Eric, he was involved with robotics and mm -hmm. he pulled me on board. And that's when I saw this amazing community, um, you know, full of smart people and not just smart people, but they're very supportive of each other. And if you have any questions, they'll be happy to answer and help you. And um, when, I, when I got to my first world championship with the robotics team, I just, <laughs> there was so much amazing robots, it was so inspiring. Wow. And 
that's when I immediately knew I wanted to do that. Wow, that's awesome. And you have some pictures here. Are these kids with the bristle bots? Yes, these are um, some of the programs at Kalani High School. Actually, when we were in high school, we used to run these bristle bots nights. So we'll gather, we'll, we'll work at the Parent Teacher Association at various elementary schools. We have them gather 30 to 45 parents and students. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they get together and the parents are collaborating with their child to, you know, the students to make these bristle bots with them. Uh -huh. And when they do that, um, they play games afterwards, like racing them on a drag race kind of like a racing kit. And then they also do cool. sumo where they put on like a little platter and see which robot can last on Pushes that. each other off. <laughs> pushes each other off, basically. <laughs> so it's almost like battle over the bots, you know. Wow. Get the kids excited. That is amazing. And so for you, the next step is Hinovatech. Is that something you want to do after you graduate? Or? So Hinovatech, we established it. So something like an outlet after what we do, um, after we graduate, what we're going to do. We want it to be our we wanted to have our own company, of course, and run it ourselves. So then, wow. you know, with like some of the some of the stuff we do actually individually, is we offer services like three D rendering, three um, D CAD services, and really rapid prototype kind of things. So we we really love that concept where you can rapidly prototype something, and that's what we really incorporate into our company, Bristlebots. When we have a new idea, we make it like instantaneously, and we say this is wrong, this is wrong, before we actually send it off to like a manufacturing house. Mm -hmm. um, and we really love working with different people and working on new projects. So that's where kind of you know what tech came, which is Hawaii Innovative Technology, like all smashed up together, <laughs> and. We wanted like an outlet after we graduate that we could actually provide professional services in terms of. And you guys enjoy running the business, like the business part of the business. Yeah, I mean, just uh, getting ourselves out there, being able to do what we want to do, which is essentially make stuff, make products that uh, we want to see, and to do that, you know, we have to do the business part, and <laughs> so we're willing to do the homework to do the things that we want to do. So do you guys share the responsibilities for like the marketing, the accounting, the whatever? Yeah, it's all the shared, shared responsibility. And then we've actually got on board a lot of support from our community um, to help us with really learning about what business really is in terms of not just marketing. Um, we actually hired a PR firm recently to help wow. us with the PR campaigning, That's but also awesome. even a tax accountant, all those like, you know, paperwork mm -hmm. kind of thing for business. Mm -hmm. So we really mm -hmm. appreciate the community that we're in right now because they're really supportive in what we do and they help us get through a lot of it. That's awesome. There actually is a, is a growing tech community and you guys should come. Speaking of, we're going to have a wetware. This is an announcement for everybody else. So we have a wetware coming up. It's going to be at UH at Mano Gardens on the 30th of April. Wetware is our software developer and surrounding community type event for social networking. But you guys should definitely come. You guys should announce your Kickstarter. That would be awesome. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And basically, it's just to, for the whole community to mm -hmm. support each other and get to know what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. So that would be awesome. Thank you. And I'm so excited for you guys. I'm very impressed that you take the time to give back to Kalani and support your community and still are on track to graduate. <laughs> on track. <laughs> yes? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Very good. So you guys don't have plans to like work for anybody. Mm. Individual are actually um, interning at different places. Oh, so, okay. um, Grant Takara, who wasn't able to be here, mm -hmm. interns at like the machine shop at the University of Hawaii um, as a machinist. Um, mm -hmm. He also ran some of another like um, company out of this company as well. <laughs> wow. uh, Carson Wong, he interns at Oceanet um, a couple times a week to get oh, wow. in internet experience there. And I've actually also started working. I actually have experience working at the Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard as well wow. for a short period of time. And then We've also actually started, I've also started other businesses um, that has to do with clean energy, renewable energy, solar energy kind of kind of type projects as well. So individually, we're trying to develop ourselves. So eventually, we can all get back together at Innova Tech once we graduate and then provide um, professional services that's quite unlike others. But in the meantime, running your own businesses as well. In the meantime, yeah, running your <laughs> own businesses as well. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm exhausted already just hearing you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I hope you guys do the best ever. And I, I totally want to support you guys. HTD is here for whatever you guys need. Um, 
So let's wrap. <laughs> this has been High Growth with HTDC. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki, and we're on Think Tech Hawaii. And my guests today have been Carson Wong and Eric Tashima of BristleBots LLC. Check out their Kickstarter, kickstarter.com. Search for BristleBots, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.